In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Flutter package Flutter Slidable. This package enables us to have a widget and then we can slide it as so, and we can have our custom actions here, for example, share, delete, and if you further pull it, you will delete it, so to dismiss it, or you can also slide it in the other way, where you can again have multiple options here. Let's get started. As mentioned, we are going to use the Flutter package, Flutter Slidable. Just press on here to copy it to your clipboard. Then in your pubspec.yaml file, underneath your dependencies, just paste it in here and run pubget. For the layout, I simply built a very simple Flutter app where we have a scaffold. The scaffold has an app bar and then the body. And this body then has our custom widget called Slidable. For this, of course, import this into your Flutter file. Now let's look at how this Slidable widget works. First, you have to give it a child. That's the only required parameter of this widget. And this child is then here, in this case, a list tile. And this list tile has a text widget called slide me. Then if you want this list tile to be dismissible, so when you fully drag it to the end, you can see that it completely gets removed. So this is what's meant with dismissible. So if you want to be able to do that, first you have to define the key, so the value key and give it a custom key here, custom value. And then within either your start action pane or the end action pane, you then have to define this dismissible here and then dismissible pane. And then here you have a function on dismissed so that when this when the slidable gets removed, you want to also remove this of course from a list you have internally in your Flutter app. That's where you can use this function for. Also, we can either have the direction of this slidable horizontally, or you can also define it vertically. So by using this here, direction axis.vertical. So if you run this, as you can see here now, if we drag from the top down, you can see that we can have these slidable actions here. Or if we go the other way around, then it will be the end action pane. But of course, as you, as you can see here, this is not ideal. For that, of course, you want to have a bigger widget in height. So let's undo this. So the direction is by default horizontally. So when you slide like this, you can also define custom motions. For example, the scroll motion, as you can see here, it scrolls both actions directly, but you could also have the behind motion to make it seem like the actions are already behind here, as you can see here. So you're not dragging the actions into your side, but you're just rather revealing them. There are two other motions you can also use. If you go to the pub.dev website, underneath the motions header, here you can see an animation of the behind motion, the draw motion, the scroll motion we are using, and the stretch motion. Feel free to use any motion you want to, but in this case we're going to use the scroll motion. Then we can give our action pane children, so it's a list of slidable actions, and in this case, let's actually reveal them again. So the first action here is going to be the leftmost action. As you can see here, this is the delete. So delete is at the leftmost position. And then here you can have a custom function. This custom function has a parameter of build context. Then you can give it the background color. So in this case, it's red. Give it a foreground color for the text and the icon. And then here you can define your icon and the label, as you can see here. And then we have another slidable action, very similar, just with a different background color and a different icon and a different text. Then for the other side, here you can see that this one is bigger in the width than this one. For this, you simply use the flex factor, as you might already know from the expandable widget. And here again, you define your custom color, for the background, for the foreground, and you also define your custom icon and label. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comments. And thank you for watching.